Good morning and welcome in. Before we get into this morning's update, I'd like to go over a quick overview of what transpired so far in the uh, crypto market on this last day of the trading week, at least with the futures market open on this Friday, July 26th. So far, we've got XRP flat. Couldn't garner any steam overnight. We did manage to hold the 59.3 cent 2018 resistance as support as of right now. So at least we have that going on for us right now. Um, we've got Bitcoin up 2.1% to 67,188. We talked a lot about Ethereum last night, which is up about 1.88%. Last night it was around 3,140 during our live. So it's up about $90 an ounce right now, or $90 per token. So we'll see how Ethereum continues to move. It has that inverse head and shoulders. So does DGB, which has pushed up about 1.9% on the day to 747. So we'll continue to look at DGB and Ethereum this morning just to see where they stand from a little update from last night. We'll take a look at Bitcoin. We'll take an exclusively deep look at the XRP technical analysis as right now it's everything. It's everything for XRP right now to stay over that 59.3 cents. Let's see in current times, the most updated analysis. So now in today's terms, it's still 59.3 still looking to hold 59.3 this is the longest we've been above this resistance level since 2018 we have not had any uh, sustained periods over this resistance level from all the way back in 2018 to now we have not had any sustainable stretch where we've had any kind of momentum over the top of this resistance this is the first time we've ever in the history of this setup been able to use this as a support line instead of resistance so it's very interesting to see what we need to do next and i'll show you the levels that need to be cleared for us to get out of this no man's land so please make sure to hit that like button so youtube does recommend this update it would be greatly appreciated because if you hit that like button my content pops up on the youtube news feed so even if you've never heard of me if you have heard of me when you're scrolling through youtube my content pops up and now you'll have my name in front of you, so I'm in your line of sight. So the odds are even greater that you would click on my content or somebody new would find it. So please make sure to hit that like button. I'll catch you on the other side of the intro. Good morning, 9.18 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Friday, July 26th, 2024. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So right now, we see XRP is above the 593, but what we need to break above right now, yes, we're holding the 59.3 cents, which is fantastic, that we're over that 2018 resistance. Now we need to get back over this rising channel resistance because these are bearish drops if we get below it. And we already seen this before and we got rejected on this rising channel resistance after it was support for some time. We dropped down better than 30%. Now that we've corrected ourselves here, we need to get over and hold that 60.3 cents and start pushing up. And then you have right over the top at 61.5. So there are two extreme areas here that we have to break over. Let's see this in real time. I like to move this in real time as we go. And I like to do it when everybody's watching so that you can see exactly what's going on. 604. So in real time, we're gonna have to get over 604. That's what we need to do. And then we can start pushing past this rising channel resistance and then try to push ourselves up and over. So that's the most important thing. We need to hold 593, but we need to get over this 604 level. We need to get over this rising channel resistance and start pushing up. Right now, we're in no man's land. The good news here this morning is we have not given back the 2018 resistance. It is still actively being used as support. And if we break down 593, then obviously that's invalidated. But as of right now, even with the severe volatility to the downside that we did have momentarily, we've still maintained the integrity of that 593 uh, hold. 
and that is the 2018 resistance currently being flipped as support this is very important now yeah it could very well fall through but as of right now this is very 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 important for xrp to hold this level i just that's personally my expectation it has to hold these levels otherwise you could open up the table or open up the door to a farther drop Right now we have this 62.8 cents. Let's see where it is in real time. 62.7. Now the interesting thing is, is we had this little uptrending support and it's basically our little expandable zone. And initially it looks like we're failing this. I know it's, it's hard to understand, but it looks like we're failing this. Let's take a look at the expandable, our fullest expandable. Because right now, it looks like we've fallen outside of the short-term uptrend. And now it looks like we could come down to 57.9 if this... Okay, so basically, if this falls through 59.3, our expandable support to where we may not break down. So if we break 59.3 and we hold 57.9, there's a chance this consolidates out and we just hold this uptrend and then we go parabolic. But if you break 57.9, if we can't get back above 604 in the immediate short term, that's where XRP could put a problem in. Because if you start breaking these levels down, there is not a lot of support right now as far as buying volume, but there's also not a lot of selling pressure as well. So we're kind of stuck in no man's land. Everybody's waiting for some kind of resolution. 90% of the universe in, uh, for XRP is waiting for a settlement from yesterday which I don't believe is what's happening. I believe this is a normal talk like usual. I believe that the judge is going to have to put a number in front of Ripple that they're going to have to agree to, that the SEC is like, you know what, fair enough. This is the best we can do. Ripple says this is the best we can do. Judge Annalisa Torres gave us a number, and now we're going to go with that. That's what I expect to happen. But if something were to happen with the closed-door meeting, I would not be opposed to it. I'm an owner of XRP. I push XRP more than anybody. But in a fair way, I, I speak the facts when it comes to XRP. I'm not looking for cheap views. I'm looking to give information that I see on a daily basis, historical data, and I want to see as many people as possible thrive. So you got to do this from an emotionless standpoint, because as of right now, XRP is in the middle of uh, no man's land. I love saying no man's land because it is. Um, there was a few different things about XRP we could read. Um, let's see. Where was it at? uh here we go so this came out early this a.m so this just counters some of our technical analysis and we'll see uh what we think of this so this article says xrp price position for a surge is another rally on the horizon xrp price is holding gains above the 59.2 cent zone which is very important because that holds the 2018 resistance as support as long as we don't give that up the price could gain bullish momentum if it clears 61.2 cent resistance level. XRP price consolidating gains below 60.1 or 61.2 cent resistance zone. The price is now trading near 60.5 cents in the 100 hourly simple moving average. There is a key contracting triangle forming with resistance at 61.2 cents on the hourly chart of the XRP USD pair from Kraken. The pair could start another increase if it stays above 59.2 cent support zone. And that is absolutely correct. If we stay above that 2018 resistance as support, we're going to get a volatile move up. We will get a volatile swing up. XRP price eyes fresh increase. XRP price remains stable above the 58 cent support zone. It traded as low as 58.46 cents and recently started an upward move. There was a clear move above the 60 cent resistance zone, but it lagged momentum like Bitcoin and Ethereum. There was a move above the 50% Fib retracement level of the downward move from 62.57 cent swing high to the 58.46 cent swing low. It is now trading near 60.5 cents in the 100 hourly simple moving average. If there are more upsides, the price could face resistance near the 61.2 cent level. There is also key contracting triangle forming with resistance at 61.2 cents on the hourly chart of the XRP USD pair. The stated triangle resistance is close to the 61.8% Fib retracement level. 
of the downward move from 62.57 cents swing high to this 58.46 cent swing low. The first major resistance is near the 62.5 cent level. The next key resistance could be 63.2 cents. A clear move above the 63.2 cent resistance might send the price towards 64.5 resistance. The next major resistance is near the 65.5 cent level. Any more gains might send the price toward the 68 cent resistance. Another decline. If XRP fails to clear 61.2 cent resistance zone, it could start another decline. Initial support on the downside is near the 60.2 cent level. The next major support is the 59.2 cent level in the triangles trend line zone. If there is a downside break and a close below the 59.2 cent level, the price might continue to decline toward the 58 cent support. In the near term, the next major support is 56.5 cents. Technical indicators, the hourly moving average convergence divergence, the MACD for XRP USD is now gaining pace in the bullish zone. Hourly RSI relative strength index, the RSI for XRP USD is now near the 50 level. Major support levels 59.2 and 58 cents. Major resistance levels 61.2, 62.5, and 63.3 resistance. Those are major resistance levels. So that's a big part of what we're seeing this morning for XRP. I still think as long as we're over 59.3, we are looking pretty good here. Bitcoin, we talked very much last night about how it looked like it was going to reverse. And I am so happy with how that live went last night. We thought we were seeing these inverse patterns. We didn't know how far Bitcoin could come down. And we said Bitcoin might not even do the inverse head and shoulders because it was a little different than the rest. Bitcoin had what looked like an overextended cup and then it put the handle on like that. And now it looks like it could just bounce out. That there is no reason for, like we talked yesterday, it could happen on the inversion. But because it had that little cup and it looked like it was building out a bullish handle, it didn't need to come all the way back down there. We drew a diagram just in case. But right now, if you're asking me, I still expect Bitcoin up here somewhere near 71K, possibly 73K, as we have um, over $6 billion in liquidations on sort traders if Bitcoin hits 73K. So that is there. But we also have the other factor here for Bitcoin that many might be missing here this morning. Um, let me see if I can find it as my cat just went running past me. Um Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. So Bitcoin price could hit, and I'm, I'm not sure this is going to happen, but this is something to pay attention to. So the um, the Bitcoin price could fall or could hit 63K as 3.9 billion futures expire. So there's 3.9 billion in Bitcoin futures expiring today. So the Bitcoin price could fall to 63K mark on July 26th due to the expiry of over 3.9 billion worth of Bitcoin futures options. But as I said, short traders are gonna get hammered if we hit 73K. So that's why this figure, we may not go in, in the bear's direction, folks. Over 3.9 billion worth of Bitcoin futures options expire at 8 a.m. UTC on top of futures trading cryptocurrency exchange Jurabit. This sets Bitcoin's max pain point to 63K which could trigger more downside pressure for the world's first cryptocurrency. So periods close to the expiration of options are often characterized by increased price volatility in the crypto markets, while the max pain point indicates the price at which most options contracts would expire worthless. It does not guarantee that the underlying asset will fail or will fall to that price. So right now, 3.9 billion of options are set to expire. And if it goes down to 63K, they would be worthless. So that's something to pay attention to. But the fact that it's expiring today uh, and we see that the price is over 67400 leads me to believe that it's not going to expire worthless. These could absolutely end up in the money. So we've got Bitcoin at 67411 If we look at this reasonably, Bitcoin held beautifully this rising channel support after it came back within. Perfect cup and handle. Put the handle right to the support of the cup. And now the technical target, if we break out in a truthful manner, we could find ourselves not just up to 88K or 70, 73K. If we finish this cup up here at 87, 88K and we get on top of it bullishly, 
The tactical target, if you just measure the dip of the cup, is all the way up there above $118,000. No way are we saying it's going there tomorrow, but there is a very real chance that we have played bullish off the short-term cup and handle the shorter cup. And now we're gonna push our way up. If we can break 73K, 70 and then 73, we would push up near 88,000. I tried to hit that rising channel resistance and we are firm right now within that area. So we'll see what happens. Bitcoin or Ethereum's up. 2.12% uh, or $67 per token to $3,240. Ethereum, we talked about last night how many people we thought were buying the top here or were considering it or were holding at $4,000 or $3,900. How many people bought down here at $3,100 area? And we said 5% or less. I made a purchase at $3,118. I thought this inverse head and shoulders was forming. And I took a shot here, and uh, I thought it was a more opportune moment last night just because of where XRP was at, and it proved to be correct that Ethereum had the more opportune move last night. But that doesn't mean XRP is not going to come back and outperform it here. But big, e Ethereum has the ETF, and now they're starting to buy through the ETF. It looked like it was severely oversold. We started pushing down a little bit, and now it looks like a bull flag formed here. So we'll see if we can hold the 20-day support. I fully expect here in the two hourly at some point to see Ethereum retest at 3,346, as I said last night. I believe I said 3,300 area last night, a little bit higher. But even if we don't come up here and actually correct this, this could prove a right shoulder, even if it comes up to 3,350. And that, I think, would be appropriate. It does have this inverse head and shoulders. Now, could it create a W reversal here? I mean, it already did. That's the problem. In the two hourly, you had the first hit here, second hit down here at 3,085. First hit was hit around 3,123. Looks like a bullish Gartley. Looks like it put in a bull flag. And now it looks like it's trying to continue a little bit of bullish narrative here after a small consolidation it had. So we consolidated a small wave for Ethereum down to about 3,228. Now we're trying to push this back in a bullish fashion. I'd be surprised if it doesn't retest that 3350 area. And if it breaks down in the short term, if we come back below 3080, obviously that's a problem. And we could invalidate this inverse head and shoulders if we continue to drag down. But as of right now, it looks like we're still trying to push a little bit. And we'll see as the day plays on if we can hold this momentum and see if Ethereum does work its way up towards 3300. But as of right now, I'm just sitting back watching the market react right now. And we'll be in a thinly traded weekend starting tonight after 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, well, it's a little earlier than that, but all markets will be closed after 8 besides crypto and like Forex. But the actual stock market will be closed even the after hours after 8. So it's definitely something to be watching going into the weekend. So I'm very, very intrigued. I'll continue to watch everything we've talked about this morning. If you're looking to trade XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, your favorite cryptos, look in the video description below and or pinned comments. You've got BitUnix and or Hotcoin, both fantastic choices. I highly encourage you to get it right on the exchanges right now while we're in areas of consolidation or high times of volatility. Just get it right before you go to make the trade. So there's BitUnix and or Hotcoin. No VPN needed on either. Lowest spot and leverage trading fees you're going to find in the USA and worldwide for that matter. And KYC, you don't need to use worldwide unless you're sending or receiving from a bank account. So before I leave, make sure you hit that like button. Consider sending a YouTube super chat or joining Tom's Army as a way to pay it forward. And before I walk out, let's take a look at DGB. DGB right now is up. 2.05% on the day. We talked about, just like with Ethereum, this inverse head and shoulders looks pretty set up here. Now, I would have liked this right side to pull farther down like Ethereum did, but that's we're splitting hairs here. We do have a possible reversal here. I, if you're asking me in the two hourly, I expect to see these retest areas on the 200 day if we're bearish. We're over the 20 day area, so that leads me to believe that we could have a little volatility to the upside today. We're on a green candle today for um dgb and like bitcoin and ethereum and some others casper h bar a little bit up but as we've been discussing it seems like every time these cryptos are up every time that the masses are up like bitcoin ethereum and some of the other ones you get xrp that's in the red slightly now we're not much in the red we're only three quarters of a percent down for xrp and right now we're still above the 59.3 cent uh 
2018 resistance that we're using as support. So as long as that holds, we're fine. But everybody needs to pay very close attention to every detail I put in this update. Have a blessed morning, everybody. I'm going to release this. And if you made it to the end, hashtag be better, do better in the comments.